Hi, it's Matt Bisogno again, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to become an instant expert. Now, that's a grand old statement, I'll admit. So let me tell you why I think it's true, and better still, why don't I show you why I think it's true? Back in the 1980s, people used to bet in smoke-filled rooms with blacked-out windows, and their betting decisions would be made from a single page in the daily newspaper, or bits and pieces of information about each horse's recent form on the walls. And today, more than 30 years later, nothing much has changed. I mean, sure, the windows are clear now, and the smoking ban has kicked in, but in terms of available information, your local Coral or Hills is as much of an information desert as it ever was. In fact, the Racing Post still only publishes the last three runs, exactly as it did three decades ago. And that's hardly surprising. After all, betting shops only have a limited amount of wall space, but they don't exactly want winning punters, do they? Racetracks are no better. Most have a mass of information all squashed together, but actually tell us, again, next to nothing. Now, with the advent of the internet, things have moved on. There are some very clever websites out there, if you've got a doctorate in brain surgery and a lifetime to learn how to use them. Why does it have to be so difficult? The answer, happily, is that it doesn't. Let me introduce you to the instant expert, a snazzy name for a brilliantly simple concept. The instant expert is just one of a multitude of value trapping winner finding features on the GG's race cards. It can be found by clicking on any individual race and then selecting the instant expert tab. Now in this case I've taken the first race of this year's glorious Goodwood meeting, the 155 on Tuesday the 29th. That's a mile and a quarter handicap and it's got 18 runners declared. So on the face of it, it's quite a difficult handicap to weigh up, but not with the instant expert. The instant expert is split into six different areas. They cover going, class, course, distance, field size, and official rating. The report can be sorted by win or place, depending on how you're betting, and all of the columns are sortable to suit your tastes. You'll also notice at the top of the Instant Expert that there are uh, drop-down boxes for going, class, distance and field size. These can be amended uh, to the user's taste. So say for instance the going is officially good but we suspect it might dry out to good to firm. We can select a range of goings from these drop-downs and the content below will reflect that going range. We could also say show us all races from class 1 to class 2 and that would be reflected as well. Um, and finally in this case we might want to change the distance range to be from 1 mile 1 furlong to 1 mile 2 furlongs to reflect the fact that it's just shy of one and a quarter miles. So now we're sorted on uh, <coughs> by win good to firm to good, class 2, a 9 furlongs to 10 furlongs and 16 plus field size. If we sort on race distance we can see those runners uh, with the best record at roughly today's distance. Uh, in this case we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, we have 5 runners with a 33% or better win rate at the distance. Um, if we look across to our left, we can see undergoing that Cameron Highland has the best record uh, of going allied to distance. And he's also back, we can see on the right hand side, he's also back to his last winning rating. So T stands for today's official rating, L stands for last winning official rating, and D is the difference. Um, now, he has run once at the track before uh, and wasn't didn't win um, and has won twice in the class before without winning as well so they'd be question marks but what we can do is we can click the place radio button and we can see what difference that makes to Cameron Highland now we can see that one of the runs in this grade was a placed effort um, although we still have that knock over uh, his course run Still, at around 14 to 1, Cameron Highland might be an interesting contender. After all, we know that he's 
well suited to, to today's conditions. Um, <clears throat> a couple of other points to, to consider. If we look on the, the main card, we can see a green 14 and 30 um, underneath the trainer's name for Cameron Highland. Uh, this tells us that the trainer has is basically in form in the last 14 days and in the last 30 days. Um, and we can look at his full form and investigate that single run at Goodwood. So if we select full form filter, choose Cameron Highland from the drop down, and then if we click course from the filters, we'll see that he ran once here in a listed race, in other words, in a better race, um, and he finished fourth of five. So um, n not a great finishing position, but he was, only, he was beaten less than three lengths there, off a rating of 108. Um, that was on the soft side of good as well, which may not have suited him. Uh, if we look at his form on the going and at the distance, we can see he's only run once on this going and distance, and that was a win at Epsom, which is a similarly undulating course uh, in, a, in a small field, but he, it was a very comfortable win. He won by four and a half lengths, off a rating of 106. Uh, he has won again a couple of times since then. He won at Epsom again off 105. And then he followed up uh, in a listed race at Windsor on softer ground, also off 105. So we we can actually see from this um, from this snapshot that uh, Cameron Highland is dropping in class from listed grade where he's run the last few times, and he's actually dropping in trip as well. So he was running over a mile and a half in listed class, and now he's dropping back to a mile and a quarter in class two, and I think he's quite an interesting runner. The instant expert backs that up happily. He's not the only interesting runner in the race, uh, but he certainly has plenty to recommend him. Uh, this information is available for all races and not just today's racing, but also the, uh, the, the five day future view as well. So it really helps you get a head start on the betting uh, and take advantage of the early prices. As I say, it's, um, it's just one of many tools that we use here at GG's um, to find value winners, uh, information that's not available anywhere else. Uh, and this was the Instant Expert. So go ahead, sign up for your free trial below and start putting GG's Gold to work for you today.